<laughs> hey, 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 Captain Chris Johnson here. How are you all after that? Let's see. Almost a 50-minute live, DeGarmo. Come on, man. Give me some breathing room here. <laughs> I always have fun with that. What's going on today? All right, real quick, because I want to get you going. I want to get you in and out, in and out of the room, man. Today at 2 o'clock, it'll be in the Netherlands or Holland. Michael Williams will be doing a Q&A. Uh, Julie Wen will be co-hosting that show. That's at 2 o'clock. The link's in the back office. I believe that's a private founders, I'm thinking. Uh, tonight, 9 o'clock, we have, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 4 o'clock, we have the, um, Red is doing a, uh, a workshop on how he does videos and puts them into his YouTube. Pretty cool. That's at 4 o'clock. That's in the back office. Julie and I will be doing a speedy live probably about 7.30 to 8, uh, but, but just before a bless. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're excited. Red did a great re uh, live today. Marty did a, a movie live today. <laughs> Always have fun with that. What's my topic? I, but before I start, before I get into my topic, Sabias John reached out to me and 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 he gave me some questions on AI, which I thought was cool. So let me get his questions. I want to do this first. Now, Sabias has these these uh, questions in his own net, own network. So let me get my little brother here. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, now. Sabias Jana, which is S U B H A S J A N A. Okay. Make sure Sabias write your name in the chat here. He has two questions. You know, I'm talking about AI this week. So he, he texted me yesterday, Chris. And this kid, he's a young kid. He's a teacher. He's from India, just real nice. He says, I got an idea. I said, What's your idea? He, he says, I got, let me do some trivia for you. Okay. It sounds great. So his two questions are the first one is, which of the following is the branch of artificial intelligence? And he gives you a multiple choice. Is it cyber forensics, machine learning, full stack developer, network design? That's your first question. And the second is, what is artificial intelligence? And he's got an A, B, C, D, and E. or Four, four answers. You have to go to Sabias's own network and find out what those answers and i will touch base on some of these because that's part of my live today so sabias go to s-u-b-h-a-s sabias jana j-a-n-a and o network and check out the answers they're pretty good sabias you can keep doing that every day i absolutely love it anyone else has a question or they want to play along send me your question i'll talk about it on the live we'll get people to go to your own network and that's how we do it all right what is the topic today I said, man, back to the basics is my new thing. You know that. Breathable income is definitely my new thing. And I want to talk about where is AI at today? Okay. Now, if I do this right, I want to talk a little bit about statistics, percentages, about where our artificial intelligence is today. And I sure hope you can see me because I switched my screen. I can't see myself. So let me read a couple things. Uh, actually, before... We get started because I want I want you to understand what artificial intelligence is. I know you know all about impassive, and I will tell you about artificial intelligence, and I will connect it into impassive. All right, let me start out by by reading this first. What is artificial intelligence? We say this all the time, right? I found a real good definition that I like about it. Artificial intelligence is a constellation of many different technologies working together to enable machines to sense, comprehend, act and learn with human-like levels of intelligence. See, I like that, human-like levels of intelligence. Yeah, maybe that's why it seems as though everyone's definition of artificial intelligence is different. AI isn't just one thing. You understand that. AI is many things, but it all does start with a human being by putting stuff into a, out of what I call a box and then figuring it out. Okay, let me read something. I want to read you some percentages, okay? The growing use of artificial intelligence right now uh, the, the number of businesses adopting artificial intelligence grew by 270% in four years. All right. Very impressive. And it's, it's getting a lot faster than that. Okay. Uh, the growth, 
artificial artificial intelligence growth went from a global artificial intelligence market is expected to reach 641.3 billion by 2028 a few years away you see how what i'm saying how fast the growth is of artificial intelligence uh, artificial intelligence in business nine out of ten leading businesses have ongoing investments in artificial intelligence ongoing investments all right they're investing into artificial intelligence remember on passive isn't isn't an investment it's a company it's a business so all these businesses companies that are investing in trying to find out what it's about is on passive is going to come into play because on passive owns everything not owns runs everything in ai through their entire ecosystem so these companies let's say nine out of ten now which is a pretty good percentage will be going to a passive because they're going to say well we could set this all up and take a little time and do the studies or we could just basically become a founder of a passive use all their tools and products and bing bang boom businesses are going to save time and money and i'll tell you why uh ai and business productivity 61 percent of employees say ai helps to improve their work product productivity productivity i said that word screwed up 61 percent and growing and growing do you see why a passive is going to really be big because it's 100 percent artificial intelligence businesses people i don't care if your aliens are going to come to a passive to get the products, to get the technology that's AI induced, 100% digital, 100% automated, they're gonna take on passive on. They're gonna say, we gotta have it. We need it. We want our business to grow. Very, very important. All right. Customers willing to use AI to improve their experiences. Now get this, 62% of consumers are willing to submit date to AI to have better experience with business. 62%. And probably a lot of those, 40% really doesn't know what AI is yet. So I would count that as 100% because when they find out, they're going to be blown away. And guys, AI is everywhere. 15% uh, of all customer service interactions globally is expected to be fully powered by AI by 2021. It's 2022. These are little old stats. All right. It's already being done, folks. AI has already taken that over. I keep trying to tell you, I've been talking about this since 2020, 2020. Remember that. All right, what else we got here? Artificial intelligence, statistics and sales. Nearly one in four sales teams currently use artificial intelligence in their day-to-day -day work. Boom. Guess what? All you MLMers out there, which we are not, we are a company, brick and mortar. You're going to want and passive products because it's going to turn your MLM and business into a booming business. Not only are you going to get paid from a passive, but you're also going to get paid through your MLM of sales and services that was created through on passive through targeted traffic. Yep. Targeted traffic, baby. That's artificial intelligence at its best. And you haven't seen nothing yet when it comes to artificial intelligence. Okay. 40 cost benefits of adopting AI in business. 44% of organizations have reported cost savings as a result of AI implementation. A 40, whoops, a 44% increase in savings because they adopted the AI in their business. Where do you think all businesses are going to go in the future? Because that's where they're going. They're going to see in passive and realize everything that it has to offer. This is what I've been trying to tell the new people. I know you founders on here know it, but the new people out there who have no idea what a passive is, I'm talking to you. I'm reading you stats that are updated. All right. On passive, I told you a couple weeks ago, is a statistics changer. All these statistics are going to shoot straight up to 100% when we launch to the world. Very, very big. Okay, one more. AI, AI powered voice assistant use uses growth. Now remember, I think I talked about this yesterday. The number of AI powered voice assistants in forecast to reach 8 billion by 2023. All right. 2023. That's not far away, is it? 8 billion, guys. This is the power of listen. Artificial intelligence is not just the future. 
It's the beginning of something brand new. It, it isn't going to be the future. It is the future. It's the world. Everyone is going to be adopting this. Listen, they use it in sports. You want to, here's really something I, I'm, I'm loving really learning more about it. Just to watch a sports player. They have AI that studies sports players in every sport so they won't get injured. They take pictures, photos, they put it into the box for the <laughs> for the AI. It scrambles it around and rethinks, all right, this is what caused injury. This is what not to do. It's really cool. I mean, man, they got like AI has got a fix for just about everything, which I'm loving. Okay. More than three in four businesses say it is important for them to be able to trust AI's analysts, results, and recommendations. And guess what, guys? Their results and recommendations are coming out 100%. And the ones that aren't, they're not doing it right. There's a lot of companies out there that are trying to do AI. All right? They didn't do the research. They just thought they could press a button, bing, bang, boom. Ash Mafara found the smartest people in the world and did this. From scratch, folks. From scratch. I did a, uh, let me see if I can find it. Do you guys remember the... And, and let me go back because I can. I don't know if you guys can see me. I don't know how many people's on here even. And it doesn't matter to me. 97 people. Good. I'm going to be funny. Here comes the Chris Johnson funny guy again. All right. Do you remember the show, The Six Million Dollar Man? All right. If you remember that show, most of you should. With uh, Lee Majors, I think his name. He was an astronaut. His, his spaceship crashed. He was busted all up. They, re, they rebuilt him. What did they say? They rebuilt him. They put a new eye, his arms, legs. He was like, he was artificial intelligence <laughs> back then. And I thought, I could change how, remember how they said, we can rebuild him. So I kind of changed that. Now, this is me being goofy. So don't, don't, this is not about a passive. This is about Chris Johnson wants to make you laugh today. I put Ash Mafara, a man with a vision who said, we can rebuild the internet. We have the technology. We have the capability to create the first 100% artificial intelligence company. Ash Mafara will be that man. Better, stronger, faster, and cheaper. There's my new funny thing for today. I took the $6 million parody and I turned into Ash Mafara and he did rebuild. He is rebuilding the internet. You just don't know it yet. Better, stronger, faster. And cheaper, which I had to throw. That was my new one in there. Just me being silly, guys. On artificial intelligence. And let me, I'm going to say one more thing. I got to pull it up here because I'm all over the place today. Close, open. I want to give you some, a few businesses that actually are using uh, artificial intelligence right now. You ready? Okay. I'm just going to give you a few. Lowe's, Walgreens. Uh, Sephora, North Face, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. I said Taco Bell. Now I want a burrito. Burrito, get it? Uh, Mary's Ads, Walmart, Thread Up, uh, Kroger. I told you about Kroger on the Speedy Live. Kroger, Speedy Live, they got the AI intelligence where you're going down on your phone. If you're looking for an item, your phone rings off from their app. Let you know, oh, you just passed an item. It's right here. How cool is that? All us single guys out there that go grocery shopping that don't have a freaking clue what we're doing sometimes, I need that app. I need that artificial intelligence to help me find something. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and, guys, that is just, listen, and I said this again last night. I might repeat myself a couple times this week but I don't want to three out of four executives believe that they don't, if they don't scale artificial intelligence in the next five years, they'll they risk going out of business entirely. Do you know how powerful that statement is? How many times has Ash said that? And what, what is Ash before I always talk about scalability. He started from here and he's doing things in stages and steps before we launch, which I think we're launching already scaling it up and up and up as far as i'm concerned and i'm no business perfect in person he is he's doing this absolutely right because i watch his steps i i, I follow every step he takes and watch it to a t he is doing everything perfect me coming from the auto industry what their steps were horrible he's doing it right in other words when we launch to the world and let's call on passive a vehicle right now. 
And that vehicle you just purchased pulls in your driveway, there's going to be no lights going off, change your oil. Uh-oh, take it back to the dealership. He's making sure that it's 100% perfect, guys. That's what Unpassive is. 100% artificial intelligence. I just read you a bunch of stats of everyone that's in it. That, and that list is small. The list is humongous. That actual companies do AI. It's in everything. It's in the medical field, the sports field, psychology. It's it's things that's bettering people's thinking because of AI. Do you understand that? Do you understand and passive? Now, I'm trying to give you a different way to talk about and passive. We've been talking about the same thing about passive, which is the basics, and that's great. We know we have data centers. We know we have staff. We know we have buildings in four countries and growing to five more very soon here. All things that Ash Mafar has told us has happened is happening. Okay. Unbelievable. And I'm talking to the new people. I'm trying to fire up the founders now, but I'm talking to new people. All right. When we launch to the world, you have the opportunity to become a reseller. We we know everyone's going to be a customer, but you can also be a reseller, which is still going to earn you a breathable income or a, uh, the other word I don't like using. All right. For doing nothing, guys, a passive is going to carry you. They're going to massage your back when you're sore. If your feet are tired, they're going to rub your feet. In other words, they're going to do all the work for you. They said, go do what you want to do. Let us do this. We love doing this for you. We love doing this for you. Let us, let us create wealth in your family. That's a passive, guys. You can't beat this. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Tomorrow, a passive 360, I'm going to give you some information that I think most of you don't know. And I'm excited about it. Now, it's not. This is nothing that is coming from a passive. This isn't a big, a big drop. Oh, this is what's going to happen in passive. This is for me something I found out through my research, through my homework, I'll call it, that I never knew. And it's pretty cool. I'm not dropping any bombs, so don't think that. I don't, I don't want to lie or or deceive you. What I have to say at 360 tomorrow, I thought an average guy was very, very interesting how it all became. And I, I can't wait to tell the story. So please be on Outpass at 360. Tomorrow's going to be at noon. I will try not to ramble too long. And I'm going to tell the story as quick as I can. But I think you'll find it really, really cool. That's me. And I'm not a techie dude. But I think you'll love the story. And that's what I'm about. I want to give you something new every single day. I want to explain to you how impassive is going to be so important in your life and in the world's life and how things are going to change, how things are going to get better. AI has been around since 1953, guys. Here, there's a trivia. You could Google this real quick, and I want you to answer it on Sabias and Jonas O Network. All right. Who is the father of artificial intelligence? Okay. Go Google it. You can Google it. Most of you probably don't know. Who was the father of artificial intelligence? If you know that answer, go to Sabias Jana and text in his own network the answer, and then Sabias will text me later what, what he's getting. So I want you to do that. So text in Sabias. All right. Oh, what else do I got? I'm excited about tomorrow because I got it right here. It's all written down right here, and I can't wait to talk about it because it was fun. How'd you like my $6 million man? All right. I call Ash Mafar the six trillion dollar man. <laughs> and, he, and he's sharing it with all of us. How good is that? All right. Listen, and here's another thing. I want to be different. I want to say something new to you every single day. So that's why I'm breaking off of these little different ways of talking about a passive. If you feel or you want me to talk about something else, send it to me. I will do the research. I will study it. I would love to do that for you. OK, if you know of a different way to talk about a passive or how to get people excited about the launch of a passes, send it to me. I will talk about it. I will talk about it. I forgot tonight, nine o'clock. Oh, bless. I forgot all about me. <laughs> nine o'clock. Oh, bless. Uh, we have a lady and she's talking about um, orphanages, adoptions, people that are having trouble. I mean, it's one of those things that I'm not sure much about, but I love the story. We'll find out more about it at nine o'clock. Get on all these webinars. Go see Michael today at 2. Reddit for Chris and Julie Speedy by 7.30. Oh, bless. Guys, everything to give you some information, okay? But I'm here to try to keep you updated. I'm trying to keep you upbeat. I don't want you to be sad because you shouldn't be. All right. But if, if you don't like the way I talk, 
or talk about a passive, let me know. Chris, say, I, I would change this. That's okay. I love constructive criticism. So please do that. But my, my main goal here is, is to teach you something different every day that's new, but it's going to be about a passive. It'll always be related to a passive. All right. AI, what do we say is 100% unpassive. Period. And I gave you all kind of little things. Now you can go and research. Listen, I've spent the last four days nonstop finding different things that I'm, I'm passive. And I'll talk about those the rest of the week. And next week I'm going to find something different. So let me say hi to a few people so I can get you out of here. You can take a little break before the next webinar. Okay. The very first one today, who was it? It wasn't M. Kaylee. Oh my goodness. Did I forget already? I got to look. I know. Hey, okay. I'm going to go down the line. I got to remember. Uh, Roy Davies, what's happening? Tanya Henner, how you doing? Um, Kaylee, she was third today. Patty Parent, I think she was second. Who the heck was first today? Yvonne Finn, how you doing? Uh, Cheryl Booker, what's happening? Cynthia Downtown Brown, how you doing? That's because it's the future yet already. You're absolutely Bruce Gerstein. Absolutely. Bruce, you see, I don't know if you know, we're doing you and... Uh, Gina Levia on Gina Leva. I say that wrong all the time. Sorry, Gene. On our YouTube for Speedy Live. We have you guys in the back office. You guys make sure you get on Judy and uh, Judy on <laughs> Brucey, Bruce Gerstein and Gina Leva on their YouTubes. Please like and subscribe to them. You can always like and subscribe my YouTube. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. If you want fun information and the right information, click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Pretty cool. And anyone else that has them. So, John White, how you doing? My brother from high and tight world. He's clipping away and he's dancing in his shoes. Dancing in his shoes. There's a new one, John. You figure that one out. Uh, I'm Kelly again. Aaron Frost. Casey Zevenberg. I'm trying to think who was number one today. I said it. Was it? Uh, I can't think of it. I'll, it'll come to me. I'll see the name in here. There's Tobias Jana. You guys, don't forget what I said. We asked two questions. Re watch it. I also gave you another trivia, what you can, uh, the 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 father of artificial intelligence. You got to answer in Sabias. Annie Davis, how you doing? Anna Davis, 888 Health, Happiness, and Harmony. Boom. Diane Lennon, how you doing? Ruthie Pace, how you doing? Uh, Karina Lance, what's happening? <laughs> Casey, I like that name, Casey Zevenberg, who's a man, by the way. I haven't said that in a while. Joseph Lance, howdy, Chris, all the best. Hey, what's happening, Joseph? I think you're the uncle of Karina Lance. I'm not sure about that, but I think you are. If so, welcome, Joseph. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. I'm trying to find it. Eric, I said Aaron Frost, M. Kelly, Tobias, Casey, Roy Davies. Akiba, what's happening? Hey, 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 oh, bless Captain Chris Johnson. <sighs> Kiba, Kiba, Kiba. Got to love that name. Someday I'm going to learn how to say it. Uh, it's K E B A A B E T S W E. <laughs> it's a tough one. I'll get it eventually. I'll get it eventually. Uh, I'm Kelly fancy senior. Diane Lennon. Are you following MK? I'm Kelly's everywhere. Diane, I told you she delivers my mail. I think she delivered the paper the other day. She brought me growing everywhere I go. I see her. So that's our running joke. She's, she's a cool lady. Very wonderful lady. Jana Thompson, how are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to get through this, guys. Kushal Pagu. I'm trying to think who the first who was the first one on here. Um, Kelly, do you remember the very first one on here today? I think I wrote it in there. I'll find it in a minute. Uh, Dulip Arkachi, that's a tough one. How are you doing? Welcome. Shirley Dotson. Take a breath. Uh, Arvander, what's happening? What is happening? Uh, Stephen. Callahan, hi, I'm passing for life. How you doing? Mario Manos, what's happening? Chris, I'm in 100%. Why are you 100%? Because everything in a passive is 100%. Success, guarantee, AI, digital, woohoo, automated. Got to love that. Man, I got to love that. Bonnie Collins. Now, if you see Julie Wynn on here every day, I don't ever see Julie Wynn, and then she gets mad at me. I am still not seeing Julie Wynn. Has anyone seen Julie Wynn on here? Anyone? I'm looking. Uh, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Who's this? A passive domain web hosting? Who said that? I don't see your name. It's just some passive. How are you doing? Oh, I'm 
Geogina. How you doing, Geogina? That's a cool name. Uh, MSC Rena, how you doing? Uh, Gemma, there's Gemma. I know Lister's here. If one sister's here, the other one is. Usually Lister first. Uh, Gemma, you got my message about next Tuesday. Got to buy some more glasses. Oh, I, you know what? I, okay, wait, wait, David. Don't see Julie anywhere. You know what? She's fired. If she's not on my live, I'm definitely firing her. Definitely. No, I haven't seen Julie today, Chris. Uh-huh. See that? Unbelievable. All right. I think I got everyone. Uh, Kathy Sampson. I think I got everyone. If I didn't, I apologize. Uh, guys, remember what I said. I'm doing this because I want to update you. I don't want to ramble on. I want to give you good information. And my new way is to show you what AI is all about. You know what Impassive is going to do. But sometimes we have to teach people a different way to show them really where AI is in this world. And I told you some good stats today. Please check out Impassive 360 tomorrow for the rest of the story. I'll continue for the week. Said so Next week I'll change it up. Two o'clock, which is in about 45 minutes, I think. Uh, Michael Williams in the Netherlands or Holland. Julie Wentz co-host. Uh, four o'clock, Red Redfern, his tool shop videos into YouTube. I believe he's going to teach you how to do that. Uh, Speedy Live with Julian Chris, 730. And then Oh Bless, 9 o'clock. And anyone else, if I missed, I apologize. Lots of my brain. Check the bag office. They're all there. I love every one of you. Remember, send me your suggestions. I love learning and I love talking about new things as long as it's about a pass. I love you all. Happy birthday to you if you got a birthday. God bless you if you're sick. I'm praying for you. And let's go do this. Woo! We'll see y'all later. Bye.